Hello, everybody. Good Tuesday morning. Hope you guys are doing well. And again, the season is almost here, so I want to keep introducing the uh, videos that are going to become a weekly staple of the channel throughout the uh, 2023 season. Again, nothing really radically different from last year, but we have a lot of new subs to the channel. We have a lot of new people. Some people have short memories. Maybe you don't remember what we did last year, so... Let's uh, go ahead and take a look at what's going to happen every Tuesday for basically the whole season. Um, this one right here is going to be, I guess you could call it Youth Watch Tuesday or Youth Movement Tuesday. However you want to call it is fine, but the idea is the same. Basically, this is a very young football team. This is one of the younger football teams in the league. The seat of their power is how many young good players they have. And this is because we've had two straight draft classes of bloated draft of bloated a bloated number of draft picks because of the Wilson trade. So not only did you get to keep all your native picks, you got a bunch of picks from Denver that have turned into one of the most impressive rookie and sophomore classes in the entire NFL. So this video series is going to be week to week, kind of tracking how these guys in particular are doing, really focusing in on this group. So we're going to do rookies, of course, but we're also going to do second-year players. And those, I think, are the most important things. Obviously, if I included third-year players, really the only guy you'd include in that group would be Trey Brown because Eskridge isn't playing and Forsyth isn't playing and Curhan is a, isn't playing either. So it would really just be Trey Brown. So that wouldn't change very much. But you have more than enough to go with in this group. You've got... A huge portion of this team's meaningful players are rookies or sophomores. These are the guys you get for a discount. These are the guys who are on those rookie deals. And they're, they're stuck on those rookie deals for minimum three years. Uh, they can't even try to negotiate an extension until after three years. And for a lot of them, they're not going to be able to negotiate an extension until the contract is up after four years. So... There's a uh, tremendous amount of value in getting good things out of these players. One thing that I have noticed in, you know, more distant past Seahawks seasons where things didn't quite go the way we wanted to necessarily, there wasn't a lot of production from the really young players. But last year we got a ton from that rookie class, and this year we should get a ton again. So... Let's just go through the list real quick, and again, I will add guys as necessary, although honestly, this list of players is likely to be pretty comprehensive. Running backs, we got Kenneth, Ken, Kenneth Walker, the third, Charbonnet, and McIntosh. Um, could be one or two other guys getting involved, but it would be very, very minor, unless we get devastated by injuries, which is always possible. That can always happen, but realistically... This three-headed young running back room um, should be pretty comprehensive. And I kept it pretty simple. I didn't want to... Obviously, we're not going to have a ton of time to go deep into every single player. So I kept it somewhat surface level. Offensive touches, offensive yards, offensive touchdowns, and PFF grade. I think that does a pretty decent job of encapsulating how impactful and effective a running back is obviously there's way more you could do and we may do that as the year goes on but I think this does a pretty good job of bird's eye viewing the effectiveness of a running back in the NFL wide receivers you've got Jackson Smith and Jigba and you've got Derek Young and Jake Bobo obviously JSN is far and away the more exciting and more impactful of these guys but Derek Young and Jake Bobo are both probably going to make some kind of contribution it may not be catching the ball but it could be on special teams it could be as like a gadget type player it could be of it could be they have opportunities that aren't related directly to catching the ball from the quarterback and again I did the same thing here touches yards touchdowns and PFF grade um there are one or two other guys that could end up making an impact as receivers on this team who are very young but realistically these are the three guys who have the odds in their favor. So I'm not expecting a lot from anybody else. Offensive line, we've got four guys here, including two starters. Charles Cross and Abe Luke is starting at tackle. 
Olu Oluwatimi, backup at center. Anthony Bradford, I guess he's the backup at right guard for now. And these top two guys obviously are going to have a huge impact on this team. These next two guys, maybe not. Oluwatimi's got a chance, though. I'm going to say that. Oluwatimi has a real chance of at some point playing meaningful snaps. And for this uh, group, I think it's pretty, again, you're trying to keep it kind of simple here. You're not trying to spend an hour on each guy. Penalties, how many penalties did they commit? How many pressures are they allowing on quarterbacks? Per PFF, by the way. Um, what is their run block grade from PFF and what is their overall PFF grade? And obviously there's could be some nuance here and there that we can uh, go into on these players based on what we're seeing from play to play. But this does a pretty decent job. Okay, so now we roll on over to the defense, starting with the defensive line. Most of our defensive line is made up of veterans. Like the starting three on the defensive line right now, they're all veterans. Um, you do have a couple of reserves who are very young. In fact, both these guys are rookies. You got Mike Morris and you got Cam Young. I don't know how much they're going to play, especially Cam Young, because he's missing so much um, preseason time. Morris is missing a good amount of time, too. But I imagine they play at least some this year. And if they um, if they do anything, we'll keep track of it here. Tackles, tackles for loss, sacks, and PFF grade. Again, it's probably going to be a very small sample size for these two guys, but we'll do the best we can to try to encapsulate how they're playing and how effective they are when they do get out there. Linebacker, we really only have one young linebacker on this team right now. It's uh, Vi Jones. And I don't know if he's really going to play meaningfully on the defense this year, but tackles, tackles for loss, passes, pass deflections, and PFF grade. We're just going to go with that. And it's possible Jones never really gets on the field on the defensive side of the ball. If so, that's fine. There are other things that he can do, and he might be part of the plan next year very easily. Next year, Bobby Wagner could be gone. Devin Bush is a free agent. Jordan Brooks, maybe if we don't like what we see from him this year, who knows? So... Either way is fine, but if he does anything, we'll talk about it here. Edge rusher, we've got some really good ones. Boye Mafe, who looks poised for a monster season, like I've talked about. Uh, tackles, TFL, sacks, PFF grade is going to be what we're keeping track of here. Mostly for Mafe, but don't count out Derek Hall, who's going to be playing some. He's, at worst, our fourth D, uh, edge rusher off the bench. And then you've got Tyreek Smith, who has played really well so far this preseason. He's flashed in camp. And he's got a chance to play at least a little bit, especially if somebody gets hurt. He's the fifth edge player right now. This is definitely a position where somebody else could get added. But uh, as for right now, we're just going to leave it here. Uh, the other edge players on this team are veterans, Nwosu and Taylor. So they're not really part of this conversation. But um, put it all together, it's a nice little edge room. Cornerback, you've got quite a bit on the youth side of things. You've got Tariq Woolen entering year two. Kobe Bryant entering year two. And... Witherspoon entering year one. A huge portion of this team's success this season will be determined by this group. Tackles, interceptions, passes, defensed, and PFF grade for these guys. Obviously, these are guys we're going to go way deeper into later in the week. But for this video, just this surface level view will suffice. And safety, we've got one young safety on the team, unless you count Joey Blunt, who may get added to this list later if he makes the team and actually plays on defense. But tackles, interceptions, passes, defensed, and PFF grade for safeties. And that's it. So let me know what you guys think, and go Hawks!